If you've read any poker book dealing with tournament poker or even watched tournaments on TV, you'll constantly be reminded of the importance of aggression. However, at the same time, being cautious is often equally important. So it's important to figure out the right times to be aggressive and the times when it might make more sense to just call. Let's look at various scenarios and decide where your aggression is being best used. One, playing a big stack versus another big stack. If you find yourself with a big stack of chips in a tournament or in a hand with another very large stack at your table, what does your common sense tell you that you should do? Be aggressive or proceed cautiously? I hope you said proceed cautiously. More important than being aggressive when you have a big stack is protecting those chips so that you can maintain your big stack. By being aggressive against an opponent who could put a huge dent in your stack, you jeopardize your chip position and might quickly find yourself on a short stack. Next is playing from the dealer button. This is a position of power and one of the best ways to utilize that power is to be more aggressive when you're in position versus the times that you'll have to act first after the flop. As a general rule, you can get away with playing more hands in later positions than you can in the earlier positions because you'll have more information at your disposal to make good decisions since your opponent will have to act before you. A good way to practice playing position is to play the button without even looking at your cards. Instead, focusing on your opponents and trying to figure out if they're strong or weak. If you sense weakness, you can just bet and they'll likely fold if you're right. Of course, if you think they may have a strong hand, it would probably be a good idea to take a look at your cards. <laughs> Three is playing top pair after the flop. This is the one situation where many players go wrong by getting too aggressive when they flop the top pair or have an over pair to the board. Top pair is a often a very strong hand in small pots, but if the pot gets too large and your opponents are playing their hands aggressively, you should slow down if all you have is one pair, no matter how big the pair is. You should certainly bet on the flop to protect your hand, but if you get any resistance, you want to avoid playing a big pot if at all possible. Next is playing monster draws after a flop. A monster draw can be defined as a pair and a flush draw, a straight and flush draw, a straight flush draw, a flush draw, or straight draw with overcards. These are usually pretty powerful hands, and even when you are forced into playing a big pot, your odds of winning are generally still very good. It's for this reason that you can afford to be aggressive with monster draws after the flop, since being aggressive will give you two ways to win the pot. A, your bet gets everyone to fold, and B, you end up improving your hand and winning the pot that way. Finally, play aggressive near the money payouts. In a typical tournament with, say, 300 players, usually the top 27 will all receive prize money. Because of this, when there are about 30 players left, the play will often become extremely cautious as many of your opponents will be hoping to hang on for a money finish. It's at this precise moment that you should seize your opportunity to steal as many chips as possible by being aggressive against those players trying to squeak into the money. This will increase the chances that you yourself miss the money, of course, but in the long run, it will pay off as you'll give yourself a chance to hit one of the top three spots more often, and that's where the brunt of the money is in tournament poker.